probably wondering why the video started with Adele singing Skyfall at Glastonbury. That's because I was at Glastonbury while Adele was singing Skyfall. Meanwhile, in North Wales, my boat decided to break free from its mooring and go for its own little jolly down the Menai Straits. Uh, thankfully, someone had spotted it and the RNLI picked it up and towed it to a mooring. It didn't go very far because it just sat on the mudflats for a bit until the tide came in apparently, but uh, there was no damage. Uh, she's in good order, so I spent yesterday putting her back together again. Uh, getting a new strop and uh, I'll show you the, the the outcome. That's the boatyard up there and she'd travel all this way about half a mile to the other end of Port Dinorit by the marina and that's where they are in I stuck her. Crazy. Well that was Saturday night and I didn't find out until Monday. I had a, a while travelling back from Glastonbury I had a missed call from the harbour master uh, so I picked up a message saying I had broken the drift so I had a chat with him he said he'd, uh, he'd had a look and it looked all fine um, he went out that day as well, had a look on the, on, on the water and said it was all fine. Uh, went out yesterday and the next video I'll show you exactly what, uh, what happened. As you can see she's back in the water with two lines attached which I've uh, just bought a new strop from the boatyard at Port de Norwich. What a day. What a day. So. New strop fitted, extra shackle fitted, second line fitted to the mast. That should keep her in place this time. And as you can see, that's my old strop. It's uh, chafed through it there, mooring in by the looks of it. And um, I don't know why that's been cut by the RNLI or. Well, that's not later on. I think that's been cut by the RNLI to try and get it off, but that's where the old end used to fit. That oh, looks cut. Well, that's definitely chafed through and unravel. Bugger. Bugger. So it just goes to show, boys and girls, that you should check your mooring strops on a regular basis. Uh, obviously, where mine had chafed through, it chafed through actually on the loop, uh, so it's difficult to check there. Um, but Attaching a um, second line to the swivel uh, is probably a good move and that's what I'll be doing from now on. Uh, I had attached the second line to the, um, the shackle. Uh, unfortunately it kept twisting round and um, that pulled the actual mooring strop off first time I did that. Uh, so this time I hadn't done it, which you know I wish I had now. But um, yeah, second lines on your mooring, that's a bloody good idea. Top tip. A big shout out goes and thanks really to Bumaris RNLI. Um, if you want to be a member of the RNLI, uh, go to rnli.org. It's well worth joining. I've been a member for a year or so and uh, these guys are just absolutely fantastic. Big thanks to them.